Zimbabwe's central bank has frozen the accounts of individuals implicated in gold smuggling and money laundering following an explosive Al Jazeera documentary series titled Gold Mafia. The series has incriminated Zimbabwean government officials, ambassadors, businessmen, airport officials and miners' federation bosses, among others, in the illicit gold trade. ENCA correspondent Pindai Dube reports. Zimbabwe's state-owned Herald newspaper this Friday reported on the freezing of certain bank accounts by the central bank. Those whose accounts were frozen have been implicated in a gold smuggling scandal. Among those implicated is Zimbabwe's ambassador at large for Europe and the Americas, Hubert Angel. Zimbabwe's information minister says investigations are continuing into all persons implicated in the scandal. Government takes the allegations which are raised in this documentary seriously and has directed relevant organs to institute inf investigations into the issues raised therein. Any person found to have engaged in acts of corruption, fraud, or any form of crime will face the full wrath of the law. The Media Alliance of Zimbabwe is demanding government officials to stop harassing journalists reporting on revelations made in the Gold Mafia documentary. This follows threats made on Twitter last week targeting editors at the digital news platform Newshawks. These threats have allegedly been made by presidential spokesperson George Charamba using a pseudonym. In addition to the investigations being carried out in relation to the documentary itself, we expect government to also uh, uh, pronounce itself uh, on the threats against the media, to pronounce itself uh, on protecting uh, the journalists that are covering uh, the, 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 the documentary. When contacted for a right of response, Charamba refused to comment on the statement by the Media Alliance of Zimbabwe. According to Committee to Protect Journalists, Zimbabwe journalists are working in a hostile environment. Pindai Dube.